I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and live with just not having the, I don't think I need the top cap. Um, if I need it for it to work or for it to be safe, then I'll let them know about it. But I, and if I do, I'll let them know about it nicely, but this is crazy, man. These people can't even get, even after I complain, they still can't get it right. They, 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 uh, I think they deliberately omitted one of the top caps. Crazy. Anyways, I'm going to put it together now. Guess what? The top cap was inside of here. It was inside of this, it was stuck like that. So they did it right. I'm glad that they're not petty, such petty people. I'm glad I was wrong. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I was wrong. Okay, it looks like I'm in business. I'm going to work on assembling it right now. It's turning out to be very nice. And so it's, um, this bathroom really needed this. So now I've got, now I've got a lot of stuff off the floor. I used to have stuff down here on the floor, you know. So it's a lot better now. And I, I was able to move some stuff from down here. And so now, uh, a lot better. Oh, let me take this off the floor, too. Uh, I can probably put this up in here, maybe. I don't know where I'm going to put that. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll stick it up here. <laughs> so, I don't know why I'm keeping that nasty thing. I might throw it out. <laughs> so, anyways, this is this is really nice. It's this, uh, I... When I installed it down here, I had to put the bar in after I put it on the uh, behind the toilet because it, all this stuff was in the way. So I used my screwdriver and put this bottom bar in after I put this over the toilet. But but it works perfect now. It's very nice. It's, it's a small bathroom, the only bathroom I have, and I was didn't have any place to store my stuff. So this is a great. It only cost about thirty bucks, but my Patreon fan paid for it. So. Place looks a lot better, a lot better. So my bathroom is looking better. I use that to hang my clothes when I dry. I still have this. I might replace the shower curtains in a couple months, but you know I can live with that. I, I'm not picky. Well, the reason I say that is because see that right there. <laughs> I'm just living with it. So um, my bathroom is looking much better. This was a uh, this is something I definitely needed in my bathroom, and I don't think it's going to be dangerous because it's um, I've got the bar at the bottom holding it behind the toilet, so it's not going to fall over. So it's, this is good. This is good. And I've, I'm able to use the bathroom without you know bumping my head, so we're good. And those the good thing I had all four of these because they they go up here, and it it would be really nice to have that. So we got we got all the parts. We're in business. Looks good. My friend, she, um, she's she's from Texas. I'll say that much about her. But my friend from Texas, who is my Patreon fan, who who bought that nice bathroom shelf for me, and who's bought a television for me, and some lamps, and a bookshelf. She's been ordering all sorts of stuff for me, and she's really been a godsend financially. And I'm just honored that she trust that she felt like she could confide in me. She just she told me today she sent me an email, and she said she was crying for hours and hours because she just found out her mother has Parkinson's disease. And I thought, you know what? Um, she's been helping me out the way that she's able to because she has fi the financial resources that I don't. So she's been generous with her money and helping me out. But I have resources in that. I have my men and we have a nano nanotechnology research team. And I'm wondering, I, it's, it's just kind of got on my heart that we should probably work on finding a cure to Parkinson's disease. And I, you know, my men, we are, we are actually on the cutting edge in all medicine. And I believe that, like if anybody out there, if you're suffering from cancer, Contact my men at galesmen at yahoo.com. I'll have that uh, email address underneath here. Um, I think we can cure just about every cancer out there as long as we catch it early enough. We use genetic um, configuration of the cells. We have the technology where we can change the genetic configuration of your cells. And, um, and we can reverse a lot of cancers doing this.
we rebuild your cells on a genetic level. And I think using the same strategy, we can find a cure to Parkinson's disease. I did a little research on Parkinson's and what it's, it's caused when the, when the substantia nigra part of the brain, which are the dopamine producing cells in the brain, and you can see it here in this diagram, when they don't produce enough dopamine and it results in um, all the symptoms of Parkinson's where the, the muscles and the nerves don't work right and they, they have the memory losses and all those problems that happen when you don't get enough dopamine in your brain and that part of your brain. So I think what we need to do, I would like our nanotechnology research team and, and any scientists out there who could help us find a cure to Parkinson's. I don't know if we already have a cure. I know we are much more advanced in medicine than most people realize. The Jesuits have hidden, the bad Jesuits have hidden a lot of the cures because they like to use them to sicken their enemies. And, you know, they don't want their enemies to get well. So we've, like, we've got cures for just about everything. Like most heart disease, we can reverse by cleaning out the cholesterol in your cells using our, um, satellite technology, computer satellite technology. That's one of the reasons I wrote Conspiracy Law, by the way, was to help us to bring these cures forward and to use them on the general population. And um I right now I'm I want the I just wanted to show you what my friend bought for me and how it's really made my bathroom look nice and and um she's just done so much for me and now I'm just hoping that I and my men can help her mother who she just found out she has Parkinson. She said during the, during the summer, her mother was starting showing symptoms of memory loss and I guess the lack of muscle coordination and everything that goes with Parkinson's. And so she knew there was something seriously wrong with her mother and she just found out today it's Parkinson's. So what I'd like to do, any scientists out there, especially if you are a physician or a research doc, a doctor who does specializes in research, um, anybody who's been researching on Parkinson's, uh, I would like you to uh, contact my men at galesmen at yahoo.com and see if you can um, join us to uh, help us to remake the part of the brain that produces dopamine um, so that the Parkinson's patient will no longer suffer from dopamine, dopamine deficiency in the... Uh, they call it the substantia ni I'm not sure I'm pronouncing this right, substantia nigra. And um, if we can, uh, you know what I think will work? I'm, I'm actually very smart. My, my, um, I've been told I have the highest IQ of any woman on the planet. Um, this is what I think would work. I know that our men specialize in anything related to the area of genetics. And they think the cure to Parkinson's is in the area of genetics. So what I think we need to do is we need to remake the substantia nigra part of the brain using our genetic manipulation technology so that, the, so that the patient has new cells in that area and no longer the cells with the genetic mutations or whatever their problem is so that they don't produce, so that they don't get enough dopamine in their brain. But you don't want the dopamine to go into the bloodstream because that gives the patient nausea and vomiting. And we, we really don't want, want the patient to have to go through that. And we have technology now advanced enough where I think we don't have to get the dopamine, excess dopamine into the bloodstream, but just focused right on the substantia ni nigra. Let's get some brain cells from, I think what we can do as our research scientists can get some brain cells from the brain, from the patient's brain, healthy brain cells, grow them in the lab using our genetic manipulation technology into the cells needed, into healthy cells needed for the substantia nigra, which produces dopamine, so that we can replace the bad cells in the substantia nigra with good cells. And so we would replace the cells destroyed by Parkinson's there so that only healthy cells are in the substantia nigra. Now, any scientists out there who have d been doing research in genetic modification of cells, maybe for cancer or Parkinson's or Lou Gehrig's disease, I don't, I'm not really sure how Lou Gehrig's works, but anyways, please join our, um, our, uh, gen our, uh, nanotechnology research team and probably the section that specializes in medical research 
And if, if we have not already found a cure to Parkinson's, or even if we have, maybe we can make it better and help us in this genetic, in this process. I think, I really think this would work for, we need to get, um, maybe we can, um, start with my friend's mother, take some healthy cells out of her brain, grow them in the laboratory and transform them into healthy substantia nigra cells. And then we would tra- trans put, then we would put them into her brain, replacing her bad cell, using her own brain cells. That way it'll be compatible with her. She won't suffer from rejected tissue, you know. And we can put it right there in the substantia nigra and replace her bad Parkinson cells with good cells and reverse her Parkinson's disease, make her normal. And if we can make it so that her substantia nigra has dopamine-producing cells, then I think we'll have the cure to Parkinson's. So. Um, that would be marvelous. Anybody, any scientist who specializes in medical research involving growing cells or genetically modifying cells in the laboratory, please contact my men at galesmen at yahoo.com and work with our scientists and let's see if we can find a cure to Parkinson's and maybe one of our first victories might be my friend's mother. In the meanwhile, I want every prayer warrior out there to pray for my friend who's suffering from Parkinson's and not just her, but everybody in the world who's sick with Parkinson's. Let's pray for all. We're going to make today a day where we're going to pray for everybody who's sick with Parkinson's disease and ask Jesus to show us the cure. Jesus is the divine physician. He's cured me of my yeast infection by uh, creating Saraquel just for me. And believe me, I've been to doctors and nobody could help me. So only Jesus could. Jesus is the divine physician. He knows the cure to Jesus. I just pray for this lady from my friend's mother, the one who gives me so much wonderful financial support. I pray that we can cure her of her Parkinson's. And if it's not Parkinson's, then whatever's wrong with her. But I think it is Parkinson's. And I pray that we can not only cure her, but maybe anybody else who has Parkinson's. Help us to find the cure to this horrible illness and eradicate it from the planet. Just like you've shown us, that we've used, you've used our scientists to cure cancer, heart disease, strokes, and all sorts of stuff. So Lord, help us to find, if we don't already have it, help us to find the cure. If we have the cure, help us to get it out there so we can help the people with Parkinson's. The Jesuits often block us from using the cure because they like to keep people sick, the bad Jesuits. So Lord, open the way so that those who have Parkinson's can be cured. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.